Hello everyone, how's it going? I am live with Tears of the Kingdom and suddenly as soon as I swap scenes my bitrate tanks. Fantastic, isn't it? Um hold on, there's one thing I'm not too happy about. Yeah, but the bitrate is taking a nosedive as soon as I swap scenes. It was good, I swear. It was really good. Yeah, this connection is a bit of a mystery. Okay, it improved again. Um, let's kick it off. Just a forewarning, I, uh, I'm not feeling great today, so I might be taking more breaks or sudden breaks here and there. Deal with it. This connection though. Alright, we are here. So many places we haven't been to. I don't think we've even been here before to this spot. Is there even anything there? Yeah, I don't like the betrayed. I really don't like the retreat. Okay, maybe I will restart the router. Perfect start to the stream, but what can you do? Be right back. Okay, I think this is better again. Let's hope. Where did I want to go again? Um, east. Wait. Yes, I know. I know. That is one of the. This is the last, I think, memory fragment. I know that was not where we plan on going, but deal with it. I immediately got distracted. Deal with it. I think we've been to or we are going into Zora's domain. I really hate the fact that I can't examine this deeply. Okay, it's the one here. And I think that's again, why can't I look down? That is the Korok. This one is easy. small. This should be the final one, I think.
It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. You can play Candy Crush on it. You can play anything. Way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes. Whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Just make sure it doesn't run out of battery. You don't have a charging cable with you, do you, Zelda? So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru. Do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, she has a long torso. By the power their owners possess, I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> there are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called Draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. That's what she did. with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. Why even mention it? I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Uh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. Okay. Too bad we already know the end. In a way, maybe she did swallow it. We just need to find another dragon. Fuck. That is a dragon. Is that the Master Sword? And look at those eyelashes. That is the Master Sword. Tears of the Kingdom. Rip, rip, rip. Oh. It dropped there. Okay. Where is the dragon? Okay, it's not here. But it started flying. Let's see what's here. Heavy Z drop. Okay, so find that dragon to get the monster sword.
Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. a sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. Does it taste like lemon drops? To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Is this why the island was destroyed a little bit? The Sky Island? Now stick the sword in you. <laughs> and how was it stuck to her head? Now we need to find that dragon. Looking good, Zelda. Okay. It's going in that direction. 
Um, fuck, the only tower I don't have. from here. Too far, too far, way too far. I think it was going a little north, wasn't it? Maybe... No, that tower is a little... Alright, where are you, Zelda? It's probably going to roam the whole map and then we're just going to try and find it. That's my guess. That's not a dragon. Where would it be? Oh. 
I don't know if teleporting messed things up for me or what. see it draw distance. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna bet on it going around clockwise. finding it though. We were here, right? Somewhere there. Went in this direction, I think. Maybe it's a Deco tree with them. Deco tree might know actually.
Is that it? Oh, that's the wrong one. That is the wrong one. I guess maybe the Deca tree could know. Maybe I should have just followed that on foot when I had the chance. Okay, so the dragon is visible from quite a distance, and it's not too high. Um, hmm. Dragon, dragon, where are you? see the dragon from quite a ways off. That is the wrong dragon, right? It's blue. What about going to another tower? I don't think it moves that fast though, does it? see it. That sucks. Oh, hello. Would you mind coming down here? I don't need you mind. Okay, I don't even want you anyway. Put it there. Is there no steering wheel? Yes, there isn't. Huh? 
Let's gobble up one. I know we can't enter that, but... Where is the dragon? Probably a lot easier to spot it at night. sensor goods. Hey, there's a shrine nearby. I think you might want to stop by here. Yeah, have you heard about the shrine? We can't enter, we'll go to the one below later. Maybe now, I don't know. Easy. No. Give me a diamond. Okay. Um, arrows. That's nice of them. Using the sniper bow, so I wouldn't miss. Oh, come on, it was not a miss. And it's close to breaking. down. Can I get on top at least? That was a cool uh, change up from the usual. I like it. It's two right. One. One. No. We're close, we might as well. The desert area is very cold at night and very hot in the morning. Unbearable heat. I didn't read the objective for the previous shrine, was it? Um just like the usual Raro um, tests or not, upward and forward.
I didn't notice that. <laughs> oh wait, whatever. Um I don't think that's a solution, but... I just saw the chest. I'm gonna come back for it. Yeah, I'm struggling far less with the shrines this time around. I don't know if they're easier or it's because I'm playing on my own or both. Let's, let's do it the easy way. Easy way I say, and I proceed to fuck it up.
Oh, I don't need both sides. Should I do the maze or? I go up above. Now it's on the hot side. This morning, yeah. Stay in the shade and you'll be fine. Research log day one. According to Taro, the cactus carved into the stone slab read as follows. The dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth's depth. Wake it and you shall receive due compensation. Now that Taro has gone off to examine the other ruins, I have no choice but to tough out the rest of this research alone. Leave a trail of acorn and nods, as usual. Two have searched each passage one by one and haven't found anything, but I've got a good feeling about this last one. The only thing keeping me from exploring it now is a late hour. I'll try to contain my excitement and get some sleep. This guy's not very diligent with the nuts. No matter how far I go or which way I turn, everything looks the same. It's all covered in energy, sap, and gloom. 
So Mao managed to swallow my overwhelming desire to run home and will attempt to spend the night here. Let's hope I have enough acorns to mark my way to the end. Shit. Might have to find our way on our own. Um, I went that way, but it's all donkey. I'm writing this, but I'm standing in front of ancient Zonai ruins. What a tremendous discovery. This makes the terror and uncertainty of getting here completely worth it. It's just a shame for me that I have no idea what these ruins are, but I'll head back and report to people who might. Alright. This is the end. I'll activate that before anything pops up. Let's see if I unlock the door. Hopefully no cannon shit comes up. The last time that happened, shit went wild. to the sky we'll make it for I'll keep looking up when looking around on the ground, just in case I spot the dragon. And if I do, I'm gonna drop everything to run to it. Even though I probably won't use the Master Sword all that much, because my break. Maybe it loses its charge, right? Isn't that what it did in the first game? 
test of wisdom. Yes, yes. Four terminals. Activate them all. I'm guessing each section of this has a terminal. Is that an updraft or... Oh, it is. Never mind. Alright, going this way. This way. There we go. Made it. Okay. South east corner done. Now we just need to go to the I'm gonna go northeast. This way, All right? If I go left, is the correct way. If I go right, maybe it's a chest or the other way around. Yep.
There is a path that way. East side. Where is there? This. Hello? That's another done. All these done, we have to go northwest. Instead of Yep. On the left. Then go southwest. the other side. And that's all terminals complete. They'll want me to jump off, but I'm gonna find the Korok, which will probably require me to jump off as well.
because Koroks are dicks. Okay, where are you, Korok? I don't believe there isn't a Korok. I don't believe you. serious there must be a Korok. There were Koroks in the other mazes I did. Okay, I want me to take the plunge. Great, another one of those. Um, almost messed that one up. This is the spot where I camp. Yeah, those bomb arrows don't make it aggressive, which is a very funny thing.
I don't know how much health is left. I'm gonna use the bombs, all of them. You're gonna fight on my terms. all the bombs I like. Mirror. We have not come across that. Um what if I were to do something like this combine it with that nope bigger one sword <laughs> big chunky weapon I still haven't killed a single talus but I've killed a lot of these Oh, I don't think I even took a photo. No matter. We can find it later. So easy to find. Ruler of Boars. Command your achievement of a fitting reward. Who is a ruler of Boars? I'm a read another world evil hidden away since days of old. Take it now. Gloom resistance, please. Mm. 
evil spirit mask. That is corpse cannon armor, right? Somebody of the seer mask is inspired by a malevolent entity. It's a rather rare find. Stealth. I think this opens up the gate. Yep, that's. Dragon, are you? Lightning dragon, right? It must be the lightning dragon. I'm gonna convince myself you're the lightning dragon. Okay, what time is it? Seven. We haven't really explored the We explored that one. Is this a shrine? Oh no, it's the underground shrine, I think. I uh, underground uh, light thing. Hold on, there is a group of island, two groups of islands that I haven't really explored in the sky. But uh, yeah, let's go here because there is a quest that's in progress. This one. Oh. I'm still searching the ruins just in case there are more models to be found. I'm a little low on the system requirement work right now. Okay. Screw you then. Um. Okay, these two. So take that. Head west. Actually, probably quicker this way. Head north instead of west. Oh, 
doesn't seem to be enough. No height. Go. Wanna go that way or this way? That island looks so small there. So that happens. That is too far. I'm gonna try and bet on getting a rocket over there. And I could have spawned another rocket. I'm cheap. Again, deal with it. Two rockets. Yeah, the low gravity helps. Is that the island we want to go to? Yes.
but if I were to Nothing. No way I can reach that. It's way too fucking far. Actually, looks like I can reach it. Yeah, I can do it. And also that big circle is another thing. Or big ball. It's another one I wanted to get to. Okay, that's uh, Korok right there. Is there's a shrine? And it will lose. No worries. I often forget to raid as well. How was the rest of your stream? Personal best, that's good. Right. And sometimes I wonder if I should try speed running a game, but I don't think. I like a game enough to play it that much. Who knows? I might enjoy it. Drain the water. Yep. Hey, free fish. Ancient Arowana. And Marty Bass. Okay. Hopefully you have something good to eat. I just had chicken. Okay, 
get all the fish. Oh, is this? Not shallow enough. We're getting a lot of fish. We're eating well enough, boys. Definitely not blues, though. That's why I left to get some food. Is this where I want to be? What about the other path?
the great thing about this game is you can basically start the session when I tell him. Nice. We start the session thinking, hey, I'm gonna do X. But then you never do it. As you get too distracted doing other stuff. Oh, nice. We'll go to it. After we unlock the shrine. Is us, not that it does. I think this one won't have any puzzle. That's just a guess. Yep. We still haven't used a single star fragment. Saw the Korok. This is a construct. Oh, I don't think we've been to that island. What is there on that thing? Okay, a uh, flying vehicle. Not too bad. Sorry about you, I'm not in the mood for you. I just killed another one of you not too long ago. I'd say you all look the same, but kinda do.
Take the other batteries, I'm not gonna lose anything if I take them. I'm gonna save them, sorry. And look at the speed of that vehicle. I should have unlocked the quick travel point up there. Beg me to.
two batteries are more than enough. I didn't even activate it because I didn't touch the crystal. You need to touch the crystal with your hands, not your ultra hand, or activate it here with the quest to start. Yeah, this is why I didn't bother with healing. Nice. I could have a lot of money if I wanted to. I wonder what's here. Thing, I guess. Oh, that does look interesting. Okay, let's operate that uh, device thing. What did we? I don't think we ever took a picture of. An apple. second I was thinking two ready no I was just stuck yeah I guess I got to that down in the <laughs> difficult way way that is too far I thought the 
lower gravity would help. It didn't. We haven't been to that one either, right? See just an opening. There seems to be something down there. But let's get the core rock. see it. Oh. First time seeing one of these. to dive down. Expected to come from what about the other one? Nothing particularly interesting. Okay, I'm going to take the plane from down below, add the batteries to it, then go to that big sphere up in the sky.
For this one, I'll probably need all the batteries. so high up. I expected it to be closer to the ground. Come back here. That's why I was looking wrong then. That is really far there. That is really far. There's some more batteries. Come back. Don't go. Elda, wait up. Don't leave me. I'm gonna have to use a big Zorite charge. Worth it though. Was kind of overkill. <laughs> Shot of light dragon spike. Good Zelda. I saw the sword. Is that a shard? No. to dive in you to your hair, Zelda. Um, let's just get rid of a weapon. Wooden stick. Bye-bye. Missing two circles. That's what I need. Mean. Yep, two circles. I 
did it end up in her head though? Does this make me king? Have I died and gone to heaven? No, it's time to speak to Zelda. I always told you to brush your hair properly, Zelda. V. And it's still rusty. Okay, not so rusty anymore. I fail, can I stick my sword in your head again? Link, you are our final hope. I pray. This sword reaches you in the future. Okay, please leave me on the dragon because I want to hit the scales with a big thingy on his back so I can collect the scales. Yep. Link, after so many years, he gets a chance to finally ride Zelda. No, damn it. Legendary sword that seals the darkness, corruption was healed by the time of the lost. It's time to lost dragon blade, leaves with a sacred lost head, and opposed the demon king. No, don't go. Stay with me. Don't leave me. Okay, um. It does seem to be going clockwise, but very high up in the sky. I thought it was going to be cl closer to ground level. Teleporting mess with its position. 
good. Yeah, it probably does. Yeah, whatever. We got the Master Sword. Doesn't have an attack rating. Every time we die for a while, this music starts playing. And the crescendo always makes me think there's a boss or something. Especially when I'm diving into the depths. Zelda gone. Can I just be crowned king? I didn't get the scale though, sadly. Another mirror trial. Stop if you want it.
adjust this. So like that way. Then here we go. This thing open. <laughs> Just like that. to open that. had to be rotated out a little bit. And now we'll start mentioning Schwein. They don't tell you the Schwein is there if it's completely hidden. Really, there's a shrine? Wow, sensor, you're so useful. There isn't going to be a puzzle, I think, in this one. Does a master sword not take up a slot? Or did I just miscount it? Is it possible to just leave? So it is. Um. Yeah, we 
haven't been there, I think. I think that's the intended way to go there. We haven't been... Let's go that way. We're spending a long time in these islands. Yes, I'm looking for Zelda. Wait, what about the mission that says I'm Princess Zelda? I found Princess Zelda. Maybe we are going to do bring peace to Hebra. We're going to take a break because we've been live for two and a half hours with no break. So, quick break, and then we'll do this quest. Let's change our clothing first because we don't actually need two pieces of snow gear. 
only one in this region. So let's put on Sounds good. All right, quick break. We'll be back. All right, I'm back. And we are going here. Wait, what do you use the wood for again? Remember, it has a use. Campfire. We're finding something to light. Rod, right? Yep, I do. A nice sword. Maybe same thing. What's here? We hope Captain Flaxen and the squad make it through all night. All right. This area is dangerous. Captain Flaxen's squad of the Monster Control crew is executing a strike nearby. Ah. Some monsters built a fort near here and have been terrorizing the area ever since. Captain Flaxen and the squad, the and squad three, are on the case. <laughs> well, me, I'm the cook assigned to Captain Flaxen's squad. I'm watching over this camp on their way. I've also been trying out some new recipes in the meantime. I'd love it if you gave my latest a try. Nice. Mm. It's a big forward, so the squad's probably in for a rough fight. Wish they had a really confident fighter to help them. Yeah, I wish. But... Oh well. There we go. Bunch of ragtags. It's a me. Find balls in the way. Ready. gonna let me just handle it on my own is that it has been clear for a while now Do the big chungus.
Well, it's only blue. No wonder it's easy. Yes, yes, fists of justice. Keep fisting your justice. We did it, we won. Come on, gather around everyone. First we have to treat the wounded. Then, as soon as everyone's okay, we'll get together and plan our next move. We didn't even fight. I think I didn't expect you to come all the way out here. I know it's cold and all, but I've got to give you a reward. Can you spare a minute? One minute. 30 seconds is enough for me, lady. Well, you just jumped in there and helped us out without saying a word. Modest as always, I see. Anyway, here's your reward. Eh, not bad. Oh. I'm gonna rest up a bit and get ready for the next battle. That blood moon. I tell you, no matter how many monsters we defeat, it makes us sure we get knocked right back to square one. Mm. Anyway, if we don't get some rest, those monsters will defeat us for sure, and all our hard work won't mean a thing. Push yourself too hard, and you become your own worst enemy, you know? I thought that Goron was on fire for a second. Same goes for you, go easy on yourself, okay? May the goddess Halia keep you safe, brave warrior. durability. I shall draw this. prison <laughs> I did not really realize that this guy shows up here let's go to him and see about spending points. the target but <laughs> not a bad parry I think that's the first time I parried an attack in all these hours
What's the next thing? Oh, a Lionel mask. How many do you need? Four bubble gems. We can go here first. The Cuckoo Quest. We're getting weird masks. Lionel being one I did not expect at this point. I expected something like a boss. Moblin. That. I'm thinking this looks weird because, uh, well, low pi uh, resolution pixels. That's why. Run, Link, run. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey there, fella. So checking out my fancy dance, I bet stylish, right? A little late for fashion and all that, but my eyes are wide open now. Oh. I was heading east for Tarrytown since I'd heard celebrity designer Cece was influenced by someone there. When I heard about the Oracle here, I had to stop by and see for myself if it's the real deal. Mm. And buddy, it's real as can be. Here's a prophecy I got. On a remote island to the northeast, thou wilt find great fortune. Tarrytown will have to wait, have to an island to go to. This whole great fortune means treasure trove of clothes. Northeast island. I mean, I've been here. Does they mean this tiny island? Uh, I really ask about that? No, maybe not, but then again. Do hmm. oh. you have a prophecy from the old clocking cuckoo? Get ready for your life to change. They say the cookie's words always come true. Actually, do you want to take my place in line? I have a lot of questions and I need time to sort out what to ask. Really, you'll be doing me a favor. Go ahead. Where is Princess Zelda? Mm. Ah, name. What's thy name? Ah, sense it. You are Link. And you're searching for someone. Ah, yes. Princess Zelda. I found her already. I know all. And what I know is that thou wilt face trials that will reveal much to you. So, would thou take these trials? I'll try it. Very well. First trial is... Get to the top of that stable's head within the time limit. Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself. Luck, luck. This is bullshit. Jump, you fucking idiot. point of getting all these powers if you can't use them in shrines you can't use them or shit like this
I did it with four seconds to spare. Good job with that trial. I'd say I'm impressed, but I already knew that was going to happen, so... Thou, yes, thou, ready to face the next trial. Only if thou overcome it, will thou find what thou seek. So, are you going to try it or what? I'll try it. Second trial is... Bring three logs here within the time limit. Lots of trees around here. Can I just... Uh... So, oh, you tried tired yet or what? You've got to be worn out. But it's been entertaining, so naive, so drossing. Can't believe you fell for this. The talking cuckoo. Ridiculous. Now that you're worn out, we've got you right where we want you, everyone. Get him and finish the job. Yeah, I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked. <laughs> them really quickly that time. I'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. You won't hold back next time. Be prepared. And now my bird friend is gonna come. Hi. Hey, that's my partner. Oh. I was just giving a good long thing to the old clucking cuckoo situation when I heard everyone running around the tree here. So what's the story, kid? Aha, mm. uh -huh, I see. Well, I had a suspicion that a cuckoo would it couldn't eat yap to save its life. But I didn't suspect this was a Yinga clan trap. Why, it's because it's a different bird, you're a bird and you can speak. Those chumps really knew how to lure us in by mentioning Princess Zelda. Guess we walked right into that one. Ah. At least this will make one heck of a newspaper story. All those who put their faith in that cuckoo's prophecies. People need to know the truth, or else they'll fall for more of these lies in the future. Oracles might tail feathers. Nine cases, yep. Foggy leggings. Good leggings for a rainy day. The feet are covered in small dimples and treated with anti-slips substance, giving them great traction on wet, slippery surface. Make good reporter dresses for the story they're reporting on, you know. This game lets you cling to walls without slipping, even on rainy days. Pretty cool to wear this while conducting an interview in the rain, don't you think? Anyway. A lot of you giving us a big swoop and those sneaker dolls a healthy clobbering all in the same day. Not bad for a day's work. You keep that up, and I'll have no choice but to keep you on as my partner for a long, long time. Enough crowing. If I want to meet my deadline, I better get back to the office and start writing this up. See you, kid. So long.
Okay, it says... That's a heart. Heart of the Towering Twins. Do they mean... Twin Peaks, maybe? I think today I want to do the Zora dungeon. I was selling something, but nope. Down the river? No, across the river. Inability to carry anything and has something on top of it is really, really stupid. Still need thirty five for the next weapon upgrade. The quest says 
part the towering peak. Towering twins, no towering. Alright. And this is a heart, but I don't think it's that one. Wish I had the rest of the set. This shield must be very heavy and slowing me down. Not to mention the weapon. Not sure which one is worse. I spent a while looking at that glowy thing and wondering what it was. Eventually realized it was just grass. Should be a core rock. No. I'm no, 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 stop, stop. King hell. I was mashing X, and you guys could hear it. It feels like I spent a lot more time climbing in Breath of the Wild. Hello, Thomas. How goes things?
I'm not really sure if my experience with Breath of the Wild was the same as everyone. It was a fun playthrough, don't get me wrong, but we had very different styles of playing. starting to lose frames. It was so smooth earlier. Yeah, literally as soon as he got here, I was losing zero frames for about three hours. Okay, I moved it, and now it's better. Oh, I also managed to get the Master Sword, Thomas. And of course, I'm not using it. But hey, Master Sword, yay. Oh my god, it's Zelda. Look at Zelda. That's totally her. Totally not somebody else. <gasps> Only the valiant, golden haired knight known as Link could move such a sturdy cage like that. <laughs> I knew it, Luria, in some heroic one. Sake. Disconnected. Press disconnect of the day. Three hours later. Will we reconnect? Tem two failed. Tem three failed. Tem four. Failed. Let's wait a bit. I'm gonna pause. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I knew it, Luria, and some heroic wannabes if we use Zelda as bait. We've even managed to snare you. Hey, don't worry. Once we find the real Zelda, we'll send her to join you. Promise. <laughs> Alright, everybody. This is definitely the golden-haired golden boy. Get him. Easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. And now, Pen is gonna come down. Yep. Hey, partner, what are you up to down there? Oh. I've been circling the area for leads. I was sure that the word twins in that vicious letter was referring to dueling peaks. Ah. Now I'm not so sure. I found nothing at all anywhere around here. What about you? Have you figured anything out on your end? What? You're saying the Yiga sent us that letter all to lure you into a trap? Eh, hey, why would the Yiga give a hoot about you, partner? Kinda tooting your own horn there a bit, a little bit. <laughs> anyway, getting back on track here. It's a huge relief knowing that Princess Zelda hasn't actually been kidnapped. Mm. It's worse. If we're together to chase 10 of the stories relating to Princess Zelda, mm. you've really gotten the hang of things. You could probably get a full time job at the paper if you wanted to. I wanna add this to your nest egg, partner. Ah. Newspaper has been doing really well lately, and Tracy has sent us a little bonus as a result. 
No armor this time? And I would stop pecking away at an article about the Yiga clan scheme. People need to know the truth. So long. And that's another quest done. You need a new career while what happened. Should we try to free the village? Actually, why not? Why shouldn't I free the village? Yeah, having a long commute is really draining. I've only really experienced it with one job and it was awful. I mean, I guess my current job is a little out of the way, but not too much. Considering I don't go to the office regularly, but I really would want to spend most of my day just commuting back and forth. It's not really healthy either. But that's the thing, you trade living in a quiet place against, um, well, having things be close to you. This is going to be rough. to help your friends. They strafe to avoid your arrows. I was wondering why they strafed a lot. Is this the only line of work you've done before, Thomas? Or have you done something else before that you didn't like? Oh, there. This barely reduced the gauge. I baked an apple by blowing, blowing it up. Oh, fast food. Yeah, I. Uh, it to be a broken record, but it's an issue with living wage versus minimum wage. But 
it is. Good that you you found an issue with something and you work towards mitigating the problem. Many people don't. Mainly done one type of work, really. I mean, in the same field, more or less. I haven't done much more outside computing. Working can have good money in it. And it's one of my least favorite uh, areas in computing, but it can really have good money, especially things like um, DevOps now. It can have some networking elements of it, but. It's not really completely connected to networking, it's mostly, mostly system administration. Ouch. I am, I'm not sure you necessarily need a degree for a lot of these things or certificate but at the same time you might not start at the same salary you're currently getting whatever that is why are they coming at me one by one oh it's a delayed dodge and they counted it Not to mention the job market at the moment is pretty shitty. Seems to be shitty all over the world. But then again, it depends on where you are willing to stay. I'm not sure if your town has the same work, it's, since I don't know your town. There are a lot of enemies in this place. Way more than I expected. Yeah, that would open up another can of worms with moving. Are you willing to move? Are your kids willing to move? Is your wife willing to move? Oh, 
They fell asleep. How cute. Yeah, if they're not willing to move, then it's really back to square one. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised if your kids don't want to move because I would have expected kids to care more about living in a bigger city and so on. But then again, I don't really know how kids' brain works. These guys are asleep. What am I going to go for? Three enemies. I think I'm gonna eat a baked apple. with the attack buff. Basically one shot them. Kids have anxiety like you and but is that because they were influenced by you or is that their normal personality? You know, it always fascinated me. I've never really lived in a small town. I think the smallest I've lived in was about 700,000 people and it always fascinates me that you could eat, find people who share with you well, you get along with and you're willing to spend the rest of your life with in a smaller town <sighs> stupid this office Not saying it in a negative way, just to be clear, but I just found it. Interesting is all. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, it's, uh... I have to consider a lot of things. I guess. I 
Not that I have much experience with that. Okay, how am I gonna get on top of this shit? There's a guy here. Blew that guy off the ship entirely. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't be able to come up with an idea because I don't necessarily know your situation, but... Bye. Oh, you won't die. You can swim. Mushrooms. Okay, who's left now? But I got everyone. 
Clearly I did not. I'm glad I blew that guy off the ship. Might would have taken ages. It's a black one too. I'll take it out of context. And where is the enemy? It's just only a single guy standing somewhere. Could they be in the well? Nah, right? They wouldn't be in the well. There's a cave, but that's outside the village area. Um... Oh, there's a statue. I could've just... Can I upgrade Tulan's power? I don't know if I want to, considering I don't actually know the options. Good. Where is the other enemy? We just got one guy taking a break somewhere. Monsters anymore. Oh, the monsters are gone. Oh. Roselle, everyone. So safe to come back now. Huh? Can't be these horrible monsters are they're all gone. Every lost one of them. Yeah. I saw everything. In the house where I was hiding. This lone warrior type showed up out of nowhere, took out every monster in the village all by himself. Mohawk. Oh, I knew it. Sure, you look like a strong breeze could blow you over, but you were solid as stone. Knew it the moment I saw you. Oh. Thank you. We could do nothing but watch while monsters overran our village. If you hadn't shown up, our home might have been damaged beyond repair. We owe you a great debt. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Good news is not all of the houses have been destroyed. If we all work together, I'm sure we can rebuild. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry, I'll fix you up all the houses and monsters destroyed. This kid's active chivalry has lit a fire under me. I'm ready to get to work, baby. Oh. Olsen, you're only a visitor and yet. What can I say but thank you? Oh. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything I can give you as a reward. Not with our village in shambles. Of course, once the village is rebuilt, we'll be sure to show you just how warm our hospitality can be. Yes, I'm hopeful we can repay you for all you've done one day, eventually. Aww. Now listen everyone, Lorellan Village has been given a chance at a fresh start. If we all do our part, I know we can bring this baby back from the brink. 
So get ready, because old Bonson here is going to keep you busy until this village is rebuilt. I hope they're not going to cook me. And they really show me how warm things can get. Look at this guy. Get my arrow back. Fisherman's shield. Yes, I came back for the drops. This guy was skipping work. There isn't even a ladder. If you end up down here, you just die. And if you die, you die. Yeah, this guy is gathered up. There was a quest, right? Now that the pirates are gone, even the air itself feels clean again. Truly, I can't thank you enough. Mm -hmm. The way you fought those pirates it was incredible, all inspiring. And now that you've driven them out, it's my turn to get to work. Mm. Yes, the pirates may be gone, but that doesn't mean we can roll out the welcome mat yet. Huh. We have to do something about the state of the village, or no one will return home. Oh. Don't you, don't you worry. I might not look it, but I know a thing or two about construction. Besides, I owe you. No, I owe this whole village for taking me in. And I pay my debts. It's kind of my thing. Mm. Also, this village has charm. I can't wait to restore the restaurant at the Lucky Treasure Shop to see their former glory. Oh. Mm, materials might be an issue though, so I'm gonna need a rather large amount of logs and hoggy and rice. And since I want to use the palm trees as central pillars in the buildings, the logs have to come from somewhere else. Look at Al. What did you say? Oh, I appreciate the offer, but... You've already done so much, you drove off this awful Paris after all. I couldn't ask an outsider to go to so much trouble for us. Oh. No, no. No, no, if he's offering to help, who are we to say no? Mm. As if today you and me are pals, and because we're pals, I'm gonna let you help me. Now that that's decided, I'm going to briefly go over everything on our to-do list. First, we're going to rebuild each destroyed building's foundation. Mm. So let's see... yeah. Can you collect 15 logs for me? That's what we'll need, and when I say logs, I don't mean ones from palm trees. I'm going to use these palm trees for something important, so get those logs from other trees, okay? Mm. Also, I'm going to need 20 bundles of honey and rice to repair the thatched roofs that we were, that were burned. I think you can handle that too. Thank you for everything. I won't be able to assist you myself. I'll be looking around and assessing the damage. Oh. I'm gonna call this project the Great Laurelin Village Revival. So make Laurelin Village great again? Is that what you're doing? Our first collaboration? How exciting is that? <laughs> no pressure or anything, but I'll be counting on you. Where am I gonna get the logs from? Drop a log or two, but I don't think he wants that, does he? Is that not a log? These two are logs. Happy? Do these count as logs? Yeah, I posted the trailer for Mortal Kombat 1 on Discord. It, um, it seemed interesting. 
I've never really been um, a fighting games uh, specialist, I should say, but I did enjoy sometimes just playing the story mode for fun. Yeah, they uh, the te uh, teaser beforehand basically showed it showed a clock at eleven, and then instead of going to twelve, it went to one. So people already had an idea that it was going to be a reboot and not a twelve. Yeah, I remember watching the Mortal Kombat films. The old ones, not the new one. I watched the new one and uh, it was okay, but I like how uh, campy the original were. Where am I gonna get the logs? Do I just get them from around the village? And most of those are palm tree logs, yeah. see trees. Normal trees, not palm trees. I see those clearly, but I don't know. When I was a kid, Mortal Kombat was the fighting game series I've played. Mainly Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 for the Super Famicom and Mortal Kombat 3 on the Mega Drive. But later on I kind of moved on to Tekken a little bit. Well, not before Tekken, maybe Street Fighter 0-3. I liked Ultimate Mortal Kombat because of the sheer number of characters at the time. It was just a lot. And uh, I made it a point to memorize all the move lists for every character. So if somebody's fighting, I could easily just tell them, hey, you can press this, this and that. Not to say I was actually good at um, inputting the stuff, but... I remember, even though I knew all the moves, I remember playing against my cousin once. He was, he was younger than me, four years younger, which basically made him a baby at, the, at that time. And I basically just walked up to him and I just kept punching. And I won perfect round, just like that. I haven't played Mortal Kombat since, um, I think, Deception. And even Deception, I've only played like 10-15 minutes. By that point, I think I was kind of over the fighting game genre. Why are there side quests and side adventures? What's the difference? Oh, did I not do that one? What I did. I seriously thought I did this one. I guess not. Before Deception, I played Mortal Kombat 4, was it on the PS? Was it PlayStation? Oh, we have not done this. Tekken was fun. I mainly played... I started with Tekken 2, but I uh, did get Tekken 1 after that. Not that it was difficult at the time, because all games were not original. And then I got Tekken 3 
by four, I was kind of a little cooling down on it. I don't remember four too much. Five. Or was it five that was five on the PS2? I think maybe five is the one I don't remember much, and four I kind of played a bit. Then six, I think I got it for the 360, but I barely played it. Okay. It's a maze. This way, that way. No, I took the wrong turn. Wrong entrance. Should take this entrance. This way, need to actually dive down, I guess. I don't mind these shrines. But yeah, now that I think about it, Memorizing all the move list for characters, even though I'm not necessarily going to play the game well. Should have just clued me in that I was autistic, but I guess I didn't. Alright, Thomas, have fun at work. I might be live for another four hours or so. How do I get in here? Always look for the simplest solution. Good thing that is not white, the hat, otherwise it might have looked wrong. Do you mind? Oh, there was a way here. What's here? Can go this way. Thankfully, I'm good at reading maps. Much as I love my sniper bow, it's almost broken. So that path is blocked. Okay, best way to get there is. from inside this way here right right yeah I can't imagine not Knowing how to read maps, well, just... Something I thankfully don't need to worry about.
why am I here? Why are any of us here, really? This is me crossing over to the west side. Let's land, recover my stamina, and go up again. Here to climb. Is there a way in here? From here? Further up. Maybe there is a way to cut across here. Oh. And. And go right. Look like how I can do large chunks of this dungeon. Well, this maze without stopping for stamina. Mainly because I upgraded this shit out of my stamina. Not this way. I didn't see that tiny square blocking the way. Initially found the, the first maze I found it difficult to read because I didn't know what the light grey and uh, black squares were. Now I understand that it's elevation. We're almost running out of stamina here. It's fine. With the chest. Soldier 3 blade. Soldier boy. What about if we can we do that? Nope. Screw you then. I still don't really know what this blue effects are all about. Okay, you want me to take a dive and then fight one of those things? I get the idea, dragon. Let's go.
Will you courage the cowardly dog? change my gear a little bit to have higher attack power oh, we don't have attack legs so stay as you are very bow is good to this I have any attack up food because why not I do not <laughs>
sadly my spear broke. Not that spear, but in-game spear. meant to have. So whatever. Give me my reward. Or king or whatever. Have this person labyrinth of the depths. I'll test a few talents and overcoming your story itself be stronger body skill and mind. Yes yes. Oops. My name is Ruler Dragon, so I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. Now we can get to Dragon these nuts. Otherworldly evil. Ganondorf's armor. I'm missing the legs. curious about whether there's a, a way out to the rest of the depths from here or not. Seems to be a dead end. Seen one here, one here. This every maze could be. Though there should be another one. I'm guessing in this region. Gonna go to Zora's domain. And I'm gonna take a break before trying to make progress here.
So, a few minutes, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just realized there is no reason why I should be holding on to these things. Really, no reason whatsoever. They're not exactly all powerful weapons. Welcome to Flint, Michigan. Oh, is that rice? Yes, it is. Give me all the rice you got. That was a tower. Screw you then. Are you scared? I fought in a general direction. Oh, I'm so sorry. Everyone has been treated now, but we have used up all of the splash fruit. Mm. There were more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. Uh? You have nothing to apologize for. We did what he had to be done. Most importantly, I'm grateful that everyone is alright. She is clearly prey, not predator. And look at the gap between her eyes. Even the horns are like, uh, that's a bit excessive, don't you think? Now, if he could only do something about that statue. Hmm? hmm? You there, are you a traveler? I'm sorry, but I did not notice you until now. Let's focus on a matter of great importance. Thus, you're too short, so I didn't even see you there. Zora's domain is in trouble at times, at present due to this sludge falling from the sky. Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this place remains covered in the sludge. Such a shame. This particular statue is so incredibly important to Zora of the Domain. Hmm. We were just discussing how we need to wash away the sludge. Are you saying cleanse the swamp? Drain the swamp? Oh, I cannot provide a great deal of hospitality. Please do make yourself at home here. A sludge covered statue. Um, see, it's splash fruits. Do I even have this? I don't think I've ever seen a splash fruit. Nope. Guess that's what I get for flying here. Not a single splash fruit inside. Six diamonds. Yeah, we have a lot of those thingies. Okay. They want splash fruits. So that's how we get rid of. We didn't read any of this. Head of the Yika clan, an organization with a grudge against Hyrule. His grandiosity and inexplicable charisma inspire passionate loyalty. Originally thought to have been killed in battle with Link, he survived after falling into the depths of the world. Burning with ambition to join the Magnificent One and guide the world to its end, he has sent acolytes to all corners of Hyrule. Sidon, the son of King Dorefan. 
An enthusiastic Zoro with a zeal for justice, he selflessly protects the domain with integrity and passion. His older sister, the champion Mifa, fought Calamity Ganon 100 years ago. Link earned his complete trust when they worked together to save the domain years before. He now considers him his closest companion. Teba, a retool warrior, once helped Link save Ritu Village. He took up the mantle of Village Elder from Canelli and became the new leader of his people. After his son Tulin joined with Link to confront the strange phenomenon, he acknowledged him as a fully fledged warrior and trusted him with his precious bow. The young Ritu fought at Link's side to save his village from a strange phenomenon. When Link first visited the village, Tulin was still a child growing up in his father's shadow, and his eyes would light up seeing Link in action. Now he has shown true growth and proved himself a Ritu warrior. Tulin has inherited a secret stone and awakened as a sage of wind. Joshua, a young scientist whose genius are in her role of heading up Depth's research. Joshua finds it thrilling to be working with Pura, and though she helps with various investigations into Princess Zelda's disappearance, she is glad to focus her time on the Depths. Okay. So. I'm gonna get some of those splash fruits, I guess. But that's how we unlock the tower. gonna find any fruit on the mountain. Let's go this way. Take the horse and gallop into Zora's domain like civilized people. You know, I wanted to check this area out. Distraction. I know. I know. I'm not good at this. This was something I wanted to do the beginning of the stream, and then I got distracted. a shrine. I knew this place fell. 
different. Did I get that? And so there's a... I think... Oh, it's a cave as well. But... It's in Ona Shrine. Let me take some of these uh, Japanese rice. Speech. Rice crackers, whatever. That was not my ankle. Wind power. Hmm. What are the stats again? Not great. That's it? Really? It was such an easy puzzle though. Let's check out the cave nearby. Were oh, these the treasure hunters from before? We really thought we found it too. Ah. Who knows how long it would take to open all of those one by one. My arms are tired just thinking about it. Mm. Every single chest we open, we find the same thing. A green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. What's the matter? Mm. Huh? Shh, prison. A shot. Ah. You anyway, again, you were the guy from before. Don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? What's your deal? Hey, wait, don't tell me you came to this cave to find Miskus treasure too, or oh, armor. Uh -huh. Listen, don't just say that, shh. Uh. Nah, I, I, I mentioned Miskus treasure, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Miskus treasure? Uh. Get any bright ideas? If you're planning on swooping in and snagging it, think again. Uh. Think again! Don't worry, Dak. With all those treasure chests in there, there's no way you'll ever find Miskus treasure. 
But then nothing to worry about. Uh... Mm, you got a point. Yeah, yeah, okay, listen up, you. You've got our permission to go into that cave. Seasoned treasure hunters like us couldn't find it, you're not about to fare any better. Not unless you've got a nose like a dog's and can sniff out the treasure. Oh. That's it, Duck. Let's give a dog some food or something to get it to like us, and it will lead us to a treasure. Huh? You're being sarcastic, person. Uh. Sorry, Duck. Let's see what they're complaining about. Why wouldn't I want these green rupees? I mean, sure, they're not much, but... amount of money. See? 1337. Some of you find yourself back in the early 2000s. Kids these days don't know what I'm talking about. Time I spent doing the Will Nye the Sign Guy stuff in some instances it was less time than this. Sure, I'm gonna stop when I find the armor. I have a good feeling about these two. An ancient ritual this item is made of heat absorbing cloth that produces flame in a high temperature environment. Huh? Hey, what do you do? Magic. <laughs> no way, there are like a million chests in here. How did you do that? Okay, yeah, we tell you, I admit, but we never thought you'd actually find it. We've been hunting treasure long enough to know the rules. Find us keepers. We're not gonna try to take it from you. Yeah, no matter how cold it is, so jealous. Any treasure left in there? You know what? I'm gonna look for myself. Out of the way. Hmm, treasure. You in there? Uh-huh. 
Ah. Oh, damn it, just a regular oil bottle. Oh. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, prison. Let's go find ourselves another cave. Ah. You got a deck? That's a big bottle. What does it say? Do you will find my treasure? Those ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I've hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule. Notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one, and I'll reward you with a hint to another. The Fierce Deity Sword. Don the form of the Fierce Deity, me the form of the Fierce Deity, and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's red red crown citadel. One in the skull's left eye, one in the old stump in Hyrule's field. Let me write this down. Or should I not write it down and just go with whatever? A Karlak Red Crown Citadel. I think we got the other two. Skull, Left Eye, Old Storm, Hyrule Field. Good luck. The Great Bandit, Misko. Kala region is this place. This is a town, right? Hmm. I wonder if your state is at. We have two pieces by pure chance. Actually, no, we didn't get the. Maybe the one we need is the tree stump. Giants for ancient tree stump. This might be it. Is that the one? But it, there is a tick on it. Yeah, I remember that place. It's some place we went very early on. If it's here, we definitely did not pick up the Fierce Deity item. So we could have had the full set much earlier. I remember we came here really early game. And there was a Korok under that bridge. We shot it. Yeah, I thought I got everything here. 
I remember this very well. There's two words. Uh... We did not go there. <sighs> Literally the most obvious place. We didn't go there. Okay, so the tick doesn't necessarily mean we got everything. Should have figured. Set, get. Here, right. See, that cave doesn't have a tick. The other chests are gone, and that opened up. Let me guess. Pierce Deity Sword, and we are out of space. Okay, this is a cool sword. I want to keep it, but how about we get rid of this?
It's not really a sword, but it just bounces light. Done well to resolve my riddles and reach this place. Here state, the sword is yours to take. You've earned it. Peculiarly a great sword allegedly used by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. Stashes wildly in battle as if possessed by a fierce deity. Dude, I hate radio menus. Where did I want to go now? Let's see here. Yeah, full set. Let's uh, see what I need to upgrade it. Because if we upgrade it twice, we can get a set bonus, right? that I should usually upgrade this heat resistance mm. sure mm. Just need the firefly for that. I keep forgetting. Um, or Farish's scale. Okay, mm -hmm. we can do this. We can do this again. Sure, mm. why not? Mm. Mm. If we get more zoonite, or we need have to construct one horn. Um, not weather attack, mm. sure, why not? Mm. This is not difficult to upgrade, but I don't need it, because I have this. Mm. 
Oh, there is a cave nearby. Really? Resistant cloth in Goron City. I don't know if we've uh, been horse riding at all last stream. Hold on. Uh, there was a. Um, should be easy. Fruit. I've seen it. Mm. 
When does it feel like Blood Moon happens too often? Well, I. Of the blood yes, yes. Starting to use the design or the position of these things as an indicator of uh, the approach I'm going to take. Right here. I didn't even budge an inch. And my weight probably helped, but... Or maybe it didn't. Just that stable. Give it to me. Money. All your money. It won't tell. How are you doing? How is uh, Tears of the Kingdom? I saw you posted, uh, you did the... Zora's dungeon. I haven't done that yet. I've just been ah. running all over the place exploring. Yes, I have a lot of hearts. Yes, I have a lot of stamina. But I've only done the first dungeon. How many shrines have you done so far? I've done, I think, 90, something like that. Oh god, no. Why do these bastards keep getting lost? Okay, where's your friend? That's not too far. Doesn't mean I really want to put there. Um, I could take you there. Okay, here is a plan, buddy. You're gonna love it. We are going to... Crucify him again. Because it was fun last time. Ah, uh, can't. 
Let's put it lower. Fine, this will do. I'm gonna put you upside down this time. And then we can... Find the boat. Let's add another layer, just to be safe. This way. Oh, the water below. It's over there. Fine. Deep is this water? Very, <coughs> very deep, it seems. Um. Oh, it might be good. gonna make it. Oh, there's a shrine nearby. Is this actually working? It is working. I have no idea how this works, but it works. We're getting closer. Oh, it might just be the wind. Probably the wind. Seeds. We need four more to upgrade the weapon capacity.
I barely moved. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Stick to it. I don't know why this game is so finicky sometimes. <laughs> closest point to the closest point. Doesn't want to. Such bullshit. Speak to me then. Motherfucker, speak to me. Speak. Shrine. It's goat sea time. Yep, ninety five shrines done. This will be ninety six. Deep force. I kind know of what I have to do.
Not exactly rocket science. Should I take the bomb? Take it, you never know. You might need it. Durability of um I'm good. Oh, maybe should have used that instead. Just use the same solution? Yes, I did. Did it work? Yes, it did. So I'm meant to lower this by moving this out of the way. I guess. My solution works though. If it works, it works. Still waiting for the next row of hearts. Yeah, I think we got distracted enough. I do want to make it to the... Oh, this is a splash fruit, right? Oh, we do have some. We have 30. Why am I here? 
So I could have just accessed the quick travel tower by using the fruits. If I'd known. I think that's the way it's meant to be done. I think my mistake is relying on the sky a bit too much. So I didn't actually run through the ground all that much. So I did probably miss quite a lot in the game. I mean, I've been trying to keep an eye out for... Stuff on was in midair, but... Actually works. Whoa. The sludge. <clears throat> Let me drink some water. I see you managed to wash it away. The statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. It is very precious to us. Thank you so much for cleaning it up. Yes. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. <coughs> that is right, beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Halian swordsman. <coughs> it is simply wonderful, is it not? How I would love to meet him someday. Say, you have a familiar, familiar statue to the Halian hero, similar eyes as well. Oh my, and you're also a Halian. I don't really have the same eyes as him. Not with this look, lady. And a swordsman? Wait, can it be? Ah! Are you Link, the swordsman of legend? Oh? <clears throat> please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Oh. Uh, um, please accept my apologies. Yes. Yes, please pardon our rudeness. I'm quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Sir Link. I've heard mention of you nearly every day since I first arrived at this domain. I am Prince Sidon's- oh, forgive me, I'm your best friend's fiancé. Do you... see eye to eye? My name is Yona. <laughs> I am truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. He's not my best friend. Caretaker to the Zora. Mm -hmm. I'd heard that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? <laughs> to think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle, and now you're traveling the kingdom to investigate. Mm. So the search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain. Sure. In that case, feel free to investigate the area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, I have a lovely idea. <laughs> you do not mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I have. He told me to come see you. I'm certain that he would be delighted to see you. <laughs> oh, I see. I should have anticipated that you'd have already visited Mifa Court. <laughs> Only I could have seen you, my dear Prince Sidon's joyous face when he saw you. But how strange that he hurried you off to meet with me first. I do appreciate that he worries about me so, but still. <sighs> Sir Link, please do go and see my Prince Sidon once again. I feel certain that there is something more that he would like to speak with you about. Maybe you and I, it's time. I feel we must be going now. Hmm. Forgive me, Sir Link, but I must be on my way. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it pleases you, after you have met with Sidon, perhaps you could visit me at the infirmary on the floor above. <laughs> I'm determined to be of assistance to you as best I can, Sir Link. The sludge covered statue. Done. Can I buy something now? Oh! Take all the rice. <laughs> oh! All the arrows. <laughs> Motto. Let's 
that's all. They were just panicking about the statue. Oh yeah, this shrine as well. We didn't do it because it was a sludge. I didn't realize we could just cure it. I thought he was pointing up, it's just his head. The holy waterfall, yes, yes. Amazing. It's water that falls. It obeys the laws of gravity. Unbelievable. I saw a thing falling here. He died. Let's uh, swap to the slip. Hmm. 
Why is he crouching? He does it randomly, that's really annoying. I thought it sucked in Metal Gear, nope. Columbus bandana, nice. durability on that weapon. Clear everything in the cave. Yeah, there's no tick. Maybe something down below. Two more, and we can get the Lionel Mask. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, let's just follow the lights. Somebody should teach this guy to wipe. Mid-air perch in a shrine. Um, yeah, I never figured out how to do this. Ah, oh, okay, I see. I didn't even see that. I did it the hard way. I think that was a solution they wanted, but it works. So again, whatever.
I'm going to do something that is clearly not intended. But I will do it. What the heck was that? Such bullshit. Make up your fucking mind. Are you gonna get on it or not? Doing that bouncy bullshit. Yeah, this wasn't intended, but again, it works. And they wanted me to push the ball across but why do that when I can do this oh we can do two hearts we'll do it eventually And this tower is so far now. But at least we know how to unlock it. Why is that falling apart? 
as I get closer. Shut up. You tell me you can't climb that, really. Help me. Sludge fell upon me so suddenly. Ugh. I could wash it away if only I had some water. <laughs> you, you saved me. Thank you. How shameful that this should happen to me, Captain of the Guard and Sora's Domain. Unbelievable. Ugh. After the upheaval. That filth suddenly began falling from the sky. It sullied the waters around here and in Zora's domain. Everyone is at the wit's end because of it. That is why I set out to investigate the surrounding area myself. To think I would fall prey to falling sludge myself. Uh. The thinking of it makes my scales bristle. Ooh. My girl still feels so unclean. If you had not sprayed me with water, I shudder to think what would have happened to me. Please take this Zora spear as a token of my thanks. I'm sorry that it is not much, but it's all I have. It decayed like all of the other weapons at the time of the upheaval. But, well, it is not unusable at least. Hmm? Oh. You have many weapons in your possession, it seems. If you make room in return, I'll gift you this Zora spear. Do I even care enough to do that? Yes. He has a high attack power when he gets wet. Why does he... I can't fuse it with anything. Why? Oh no, I didn't swap to it. That's why. Okay, I am going to take a break, probably a final break of the day, and then we're going to come back and clear up this map completely. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Let's reveal the final region of the game. the final region but well, the region we haven't cleared up full map oh, 
That's how what it looks like. A bit sludgy. This is a shrine. Let's put them in. Flying device, Juritaguma Shrine. Did they just bash their head on a keyboard to come up with these names? Because that is certainly what it looks like. Okay, but where is the chest? I don't see it. Probably there. Or maybe not.
What? I don't really care. Well, I do, but... I think I would need to run back and get a plane to do it. Why is this game so finicky? That's the main problem with it, really. This isn't really much of a puzzle, to be honest, it's... Just a simple solution. I believe that's the next dungeon, maybe. Seems too big to be something else. Let's see if I can quickly get that chest. What should be something I don't really want? Ninety-eight shrines. Almost at a hundred. Huck. Huck. 
was the same shit. the storm to fall. The gadgets can be so finicky, it's not even funny. Yeah, that's definitely the dungeon. Or the path to the dungeon. Unless... Yeah. I can technically build my own... Plane. And get up there, even though it's a little high. I want to see what that is.
and nothing. Can't do anything here until I drain it. A chance to visit Zora's domain yet? You see, so that filth sludge is still playing the domain. That aside, I'm so grateful to you that Lady Yon and the others are safe for the time being. You can see the sludge pouring behind your body. Thank you for putting my heart at ease, Link. You're truly an exceptional friend. Huh? Now then, with that concern quelled for the moment, on to the bigger issue. My mind has been racing since we last spoke. Link, you said the you mysteriously awoke on a sky island, correct? Hmm. The sky. Could it be that the sky is a key to everything after all? Hmm. Oh, my apologies, I've actually been wondering if those floating sky islands could be the source of the falling sludge. Um, have you looked up? Have you seen where the sludge is coming from? How stupid is this guy? That is why I've tasked a Zora historian with investigating ruined fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. As for me, I am not at liberty to leave this part at present, as I am uniquely qualified to deal with this lodge here. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into the Zora's domain. Okay, you know it's the source of the water, good. And you can see this lodge coming right to the source, yes, and you're... Surprised that the domain is still plagued by the sludge? This guy is not the brightest, is he? That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. If I seize, then the solid water will flow into our beloved home. It already has. And there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here, no matter what. Hmm. Say, Link. Link? Does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating sky islands and the ruins? We already know where Zelda is. We got the Master Sword. She's gone. Uh. If so, perhaps we should go and speak with our historian Giaito. His many years have blessed him with great wisdom. It is quite possibly that he could provide you with some useful information. At present, you should be able to find Giaito continuing his investigation at Total Lake. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hope you know that I'm truly happy to see you again. After such a long time apart, my dearest friend, visit me anytime you like. Your presence is never anything less than welcome and appreciated. I heard you out to a total lake. Where is this? Total. Was a lake right there. <clears throat> Africa by Toto. about you call this a lake 
This is a leak. This. Looks like shit. Probably is. Okay. I hope that you did not overhear me grumbling to myself. It's honest, it sounds really. Ruins? See the opening there? Yes. It grumbled from the upheaval. Okay, I hope this is the guy who travels with me. I want an old man as a partner. This dignified presentation. Yes, this writing looks like waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary. This ancient stone slate was written by our Zora ancestors from the distant past and left for us to discover. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, a droplet, the watery bridge. Hmm. Alas, I cannot decipher it. Huh? Ah, oh, Link. My apologies. I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made a monumental discovery. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. There is still... Upon its surface, there appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I am unable to read it in its entirety. I deeply wish that I could view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tight. Doesn't look like there's any writing on it. Okay, there is. This is like a tournament bracket. What is this? The stone slate. I can hardly believe my eyes. Link, I must thank you. No, he looks so evil. Ah, oh, incredible. I can finally read it. Yes, I very well can. Stand upon the land of the skyfish. And behold this lofty view, among the floating rocks you see, a droplet awaits you. Through this droplet shoot an arrow with the mark of the king, through the stars and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. This is an extraordinary discovery. This important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. Fly? Mm. Oh, though in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome, and yet, another has appeared in its wake. Okay, so he stood there for how long when the upheaval happened? And he's just been staring at this incomplete thing without doing anything. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorifon. I assume that he will be returning from his investigation with the sludge shortly.
Is the king in Zora's domain? And super punch and super kick yeah yeah i'm so big and strong wahaha oh no i got beat such a soyaki oh you got me you big dumb monster there's no other choice i'll have to hide in the secret spot and that spot is huh what's up guys you're full up on folks who are allowed to play our king dorifon game I can't keep playing with you here so take the hint and scram I'll be back in a bit. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. But when you're unwell, you're unwell. Oh. Well, now when I was came in the throne room, the children shooed me away. They declared that they were playing a secret game, insisted vehemently that adults are not allowed. It is something interesting about that little game, though. Oh. They're allegedly pretending to be King Dorifan. What's more, it seems they were recreating recent events. It is ill advised to allow them to mess around over there, so an adult I must participate, I mean watch over them. Question is, how do I sneak a peek? I wonder if there's somewhere I could hide. Such as too thick a grass I fail. My king, King Dorifan, I'm pretty pleased. Um, well, what if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it right. That didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play Muzu and the monster, not all by myself. Hey, I've been wondering forever a secret spot where King Dorifan is hiding. What place is it? I know, right? I asked King Dorifan about it once. I mean, he said it was a pristine sanctummy or something. Oh. Pristine sanctummy. So I guess it's a spot with clear water. Somewhere you can get your tummy clean and stuff. And these days, most of the water around the domain is only yucky because of the sludge. Mm. Oh, oh, I've heard there's clean sunken water flowing somewhere between Polymus Mountain and the domain. There's supposed to be a secret entrance behind the waterfall too. How cool is that? Secret entrance behind the waterfall with clean water, huh? That sounds pretty amazing. Yep. Hey, wait a minute. Mizu told us we could never ever tell anyone. It's fine. No one's listening. Anyway, let's go through our game again. This time, with feeling. Uh, can we play something else? Polymus Mountain and the Domain. 
this lake, probably. Where did I see what's her face? Uh, Yona? There she is. That's something for me. Right, just one more thing. What? This lunch is quite stubborn. I deeply hope our patients recover soon. I'm drowning here, lady. Hurry up. Ah. Lady Yona, Sir Nick is here at last. in front of you. How could you not see me? Oh, uh, you really came how fortuitous. I was hoping to speak with you about an item that you entrusted the domain with repairing. Resora armor. The repair is mostly complete, but it does require just one more thing. I need an ancient arowana. Fish. Or armor. I can finish the armor right away if I can somehow acquire a scale from that fish. We have not seen ancient arowanas around lately. We have no idea where they can be found. Mm, since they're used for making armor, that to the blacksmith may know something about how to get one. If you find one, can you please bring it to me? Do that, and I shall fix your precious item at once and return it to your care. <laughs> As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hanyan like you to climb waterfalls with ease. I am certain it will prove useful to you. Please do not forget my request. Oh, can it be you have brought me an ancient arowana? There you go. Whoa. An ancient arowana. With this, I can finally finish repairing your treasured Zora armor. Please wait just a short moment while I hurry to the workshop. Mm. I'm so honored to reunite you with this item, dear Link. It's Sir Link to you. Yes, your yes. armor is as good as new. Wearing it will allow even Halion to swim up waterfalls. Can you stick this along with our well wishes? I'm so happy that I was able to return it to its pristine state. It's a precious piece of armor after all. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even Halion like you to climb waterfalls with ease. You mentioned that. Of course, it would not help you with climbing waters that have been tainted with sludge. However, with your great skill, Sir Link, I'm certain you'll find a way up that waterfall, clouded though it is. Please just well for your, your investigation into Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We already know where Zelda is. She's gone. Christine Sanctum. Man, you look uglier than I remember. <gasps> Who approaches? Is that you? So it is. Link. Huh? How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Oh, why? Old, my ever loyal Muzo, 
if you speak in such a way without explanation, Link he will only be as confused as what is going on. Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I had received word that you went missing, along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Well, well. To think that such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. Huh? You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared, just like that? Do not sully our ears with your lies. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at the Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. Calm your tits, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when we last saw Princess Zelda, as well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Muzu and I had left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. King Dorifan valiantly vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporarily remaining hidden within the pristine sector. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still. But from the Zora's perspective, one thing remains clear. It all leads back to the sky. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Princess Zelda. It may well be that the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. Mm. Sidon Order Giatu, a historian well acquainted with ruins to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. <laughs> <laughs> So you have already spoken with Giotto. <laughs> you say that the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I do know of it. The mark of the king refers to a Zora king scale. One of my scales, in other words. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned in an ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how it was used. If this particular skill of mine may prove useful to you, by all means, take a few. There is no need for restraint. This is as nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. <laughs> King scale, five of them. 
Zora kings bear the scale on their foreheads. It sparkles in different ways depending on the angle from which it's viewed. It were once used in ancient Zora ceremonies. After all that has transpired, and after much reflection, I have come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed him be a monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of King on to Sidon. Uh, King Dorifan. Hmm. In any case, that is a matter for another day after the chaos surrounding this lodge has quieted. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the king's scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. Zora's domain for the last several centuries. While assisting Hyrule during the Calamity a hundred years ago, he lost his daughter, the champion Mipha. He overcame his sorrow to help Link defeat the Calamity. He was recently injured when a figure resembling Zelda set a monster upon him. He is spending time away from the domain to recuperate. Yona, caretaker to Zora, rewards Zora from another domain. Known for her kindness, she was Sidon's childhood friend and is now his fiancée. She, he be, she began assisting the residents of Zora's domain in their efforts to combat the sludge as soon as she arrived. A match for Sidon's selfless compassion, she dedicates herself to helping the citizens of the domain. Says Zora Armor. It really is perfect on you. I have no doubt that it will help you in your search for Princess Zelda. Speaking of, have you found anything? Blah 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 blah. Hmm. What? You say my father was attacked by a monster? And that Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him? What could that possibly mean? Well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let our concern overcome us. Mm -hmm. Link, thank you for telling me about my father. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, not to mention the monster in that filthy sludge. It seems our course is skyward, skyward sword. We now know that the mark of the king written off on the slate refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is that of the land of the skyfish and the floating rock in the shape of a droplet. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, it must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I'm sure that if we locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. Hmm. This island. Okay, that is not sludge, so we can go up. That is pure sludge. Hmm. 
Where is the droplet then? Among the rocks you see, a droplet awaits. Right, let's talk to him and we talk. I don't care about the wind when I'm trying to speak to NPCs. Lady Yona, it is far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. Darling, I came because there is something I need to speak with you about. I've been thinking for quite some time. I don't like you, so... Can we split up? Hmm? Oh, hello there, Link. Huh? What has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? Oh. You solved the ancient stone's lace riddle. 
and a pillar of light appeared. If the words upon the stone slate are correct, a path to the sky may open up if we investigate their location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. My dear Sidon, I think that you should go with Link to investigate their pillar of light, as I was just about to say. For a long time, I have been concerned that you are holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. My love, if you and Link join your powers, I'm certain you shall be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. That is undoubtedly true. However, whatever is troubling you, Sidon, what are you hesitating? Why are you hesitating so? It is simply that... Huh? Launch like ambusher of Mifa Court. Hmm. The monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Hmm. See you down. You can take care of the water at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. Huh. You're right, as ever. It is up to me, me, you, my lady. Link, please, I must ask that you fight on my side once more. Yeah, you're on your own. I'll be right behind you. The beast is protecting his body with sludge. It is a mighty opponent, certainly, but we must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thus shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging a weapon. When Sidon's aura is charged, you can create a bubble of water that blocks an oncoming at enemy attack. If you swing your weapon, this water will be channeled into a long-range attack. Close and personal. Be careful. Uh, do you mind? <laughs> Father couldn't handle this. Really? <laughs> you did it, Link. Take that foul beast of the sludge. Is everyone alright? They didn't even notice. We are unharmed. Mm. Thank goodness, Lady Yuna. Something had happened to you. I. <clears throat> In any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Hmm. Thank you for the sentiment, Siron. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The pillar of light that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling from the sky, or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dearest Sidon. 
Your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. No, you need my help to save you. Well, of course, it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. But, Sidon, my darling, I truly appreciate that you worry so far, so uh, worry so for my safety. It speaks to the kindness in your heart. But you are the prince of the Zora. One day you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right through you, whether you want me to or not. We're yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... Come now. Enough is enough. Oh. You are not acting like yourself. Hey now. You must leave this place to a me. And then she takes over, she kills the king, she becomes queen. The end. Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self, like I always do. Yes, yes. It's alright, I swear it. I'm not going anywhere. I see. There it is, clearest day. I was giving in to my fear of once more losing someone I love. I... I... Aha! Uh -huh. You are right, Yona. I will not give in to this fear, nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. Off we go, Link, to the Pillar of Light. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. <laughs> now we're alone, finally. It seems Sinon has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I am so glad. On this time he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister, Mipha, my poor, tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. Whoa. Yet he has overcome this trial and placed his faith in me. At last the Sidon I know and love has come back to me. Link, please take good care of my dear Sidon. He's the sun in my sky. He's the sun in your eye. Maybe just some royal claymore. There's a notebook. If a consecrator poured day in day out, the sludge never stopped falling. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Prince Sidon, the water flowing into the domain has been kept somewhat clean. But the mountain path to Total Lake and to Dunma is completely covered in sludge. When you want to sneak over there, remember to bring in lots of splash fruit. Over there, what is that? Something resembling a pillar of light has appeared in East Reservoir Lake. Wonder this too is related to the upheaval. Kinda is.
So that is a clue for reaching the sky. Hmm. Just now, what was that? Hmm. Never mind. Now is not the time for flights of fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? The water? I have an idea. Oh no. Hello again, Thomas. How is work? at the bottom of the lake. I'll make a path for you. Dive in, Link. So, should we just leave him to swim forever? Hey, Tulin. How are you doing? Oh, you're ready to leave? Ready to leave as in you wish you could leave and you just want to leave or you're actually done with work for the day? Eleven hours. I was thinking uh, while you were gone. Yeah, that's never a good idea. But um, can't you do an online um, boot camp for technical stuff? Um, some of them are pretty respected, I would say. And then you could see about getting a job um, with remote work because. There is more and more remote work in tech after the pandemic. Let's use a bomb. Oh. There is a chest. Yeah, I I get that's the that's a difficulty. I mean, the only alternative really is um, open it. I guess it could be part-time or... I mean, it, it really depends on the work. I don't know what the cost of living there e either, so it's really difficult. You'd know more than I do. Hmm. Let's drop this. Open.
I mean, some of the tech jobs can pay well, although, again, it's a different ballpark that depends on what you currently earn, how it's the cost of living there, and so on. So you'll know best, but I think it's worth looking into. I mean, once you get your foot through the door in tech, It'll probably be easier to even swap within tech. You're just getting your foot through the door. Redirect attacks is a rock, redirects rushing water. Nothing special about this though. Unless I can do double shield. killed myself with an explosion. Is that from full health? Baby. Oh, an ass shot was enough.
Let's put the frog armor on. I don't think this is intended, but who gives a shit? Waterfall. Waterfall descended from the sky. Link, what happened? Is this you doing? Huh. So you activate the mysterious device in the ruins. And then the waterfall appeared. Don't you ever think before activating devices? Hmm. Ah, oh, I believe I understand. To a Zora, a waterfall is no different from a path. That must be the meaning behind Watery Bridge. Yes, it must. We climb this waterfall, we shall ascend into the sky. Ah. Link, I knew you could do it. My belief in you is as well placed as ever. Hmm? Ah. Here. Feel, Come think. Come to me. It's happening again. Someone calling to me? What was that sound I just heard? Mm -hmm. Well, in any case, we now have a path forward. All that is left is to press ever onward. To wear your Zoro armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. Let us be off to our next adventure, Link. Why don't you take me on your back? Too lazy to swap. And getting changed out in the open? It's kind of perverted of you. You me to do that. Whatever. Um, let's go with that, that. Yeah, I have a lot of armor. 
the I got the Majora's Mask gear set. Well, Spring Island. And I have a lot of weapons too. <laughs> Again, it should be a grid. No game should have this many in one line. I don't know how I was meant to do the one below with no bombs, but... Interesting. I can use this device now. Yes, yes, try. Oh, speak! What is this place? My body feels light as a feather. This is a strange place indeed, but right now we must focus on locating the source of the sludge. Link, it is time to divide and conquer. Let's put up for the time being. Are you going that way? Can I come with? Yeah, I'm gonna go there. I have the monster's sword. I think I might have gotten it earlier than intended. But I have never swung it. Not a single time. That bastard didn't want me coming here to get this chest. I mean, it's less Diablo style and more survival stuff. Through the sky for everything. That would have been bad. Something down there? Could be. Worst case scenario, I blame you. Oh, it's not the same floor that fell. Instead of hmm. Yeah, the thing down here was an enemy. And the long sword.
Yeah, these guys are hitting hard. He said he was going this way. We never saw him. doing it. having an impact on oh crawling is actually faster than walking in the sludge that sword was basically another generic sword that these guys always drop well not really drop but around them you'll find it you don't like my sword attached to a sword Yeah, maybe Zora's Domain is not the place I want to be in. Okay, see? This lodge, very slow. No, it's not really fast. Never mind. game is reminding us what happens when we get old. It just dribbles out. I really should explore the depths more. Barely uses up the battery.
back to Zora. The sword. No. It's a hopper stone. Like I'm gonna use that. And I wish the sensor would shut up sometimes. Yeah, this is no different from the previous dungeon I did. You spend a while getting there, and then it turns out to be easy. Orbs of water. So smart. doing the thing anymore. There's a chest, I must open it. like this. I don't mind. Slow.
See that. Man, sometimes I wish every game had a fast forward button. What the fuck? Why isn't it taking me? One more and we can get three hearts. I don't know why I didn't get two hearts already, but we didn't come here to discuss sensibilities. 99 shrines completed. Oh, great. So what climactic? Yeah, Spin to Win was overpowered in Breath of the Wild, but still overpowered. Just boost your stamina and you win.
Could be a consumable. Even better. Well, next to that shrine, there was a. A gotcha machine. So nothing. Friends are dead. It's all your fault. Sleeping on the job. Simple enough. Let's see here. Here. 
Give me a map or a consumable. I'm tired of weapons. Screw you then. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's probably just a weapon. Better than a weapon. Let's use Ultra Hand and... Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing today? Let's do this. There we go. Master. I was not trying to kill you. I just flew a plane at you, that's all. This really is such a strange place. My body felt light as air, allowing me to soar surprisingly high when I was climbing the waterfalls. As we were in our unfamiliar place, let us proceed with caution. Link, please take care as you forge ahead. How did you get here, though? I want to scan. I mean, I'm not scan. So. Fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, thanks for nothing, guy. <laughs> done and done. Full link. Let us keep pushing forward. Tried fusing a bow with a sword or weapon. From what I can tell, all of the sludge waterfalls are flowing from the ruins above here. In other words, if there is a source for this sludge somewhere, it must be. Link, once you are amply prepared, let us start right in. Ready? Right, the time has finally arrived. Off we go. It's not like you gave me a quick travel point here, so if I say I'm not ready, I'll have to redo quite a bit. Why not just leave him? Like, yeah, I'm ready. And turn around, go home. Great Wellspring of Hyrule, Water Temple. Oh, I hope it's not Nightmare Fuel. Its Water Temples can be terrible. Hmm. How magnificent! To think that such a structure was floating in the sky above our own Zora's domain. Link, look. He doesn't mention that first, it's the most obvious thing. That is surely the source of the sludge, I am certain of it. We must do something about it. Hmm. <laughs> that is it. Link, you see it, don't do you not? Yeah, turn on all the water. It's the same as the other dungeon. If we could only make use of that water. And now it won't happen because it's not enough. And then it will mark the others on my map and I'll go do them. Come back here, do the don do the boss and whatever. But at least we have a quick travel point now. No water, not enough. Funny how this monster, sludge monster, is alien to this, but somehow the water. Once you fill all of them up, it's just enough to get rid of it. Oh. It seems it did not work. But you saw it too, did you not? Using the mechanism did have an effect. There simply was not enough water. Hmm, hmm. that sound again. Cherished kin. This is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Use your power to turn on the four faucets, and you can collect water here. Heed my words. Ah. It happened yet again. Only this time I heard the voice loud and clear. The four faucets, I see. We turn those on. We can acquire more water for the water vessels. I don't think you're capable of turning anything on. 
<laughs> right, let us go to work, Link. Together, with our powers combined, there is nothing in this world that can stop us. Would you actually fight? He's not fighting. He doesn't do it much damage. Well, we have children as well. Sneaking. Why are you not sneaking with me? I like how it's walking next to me while I'm just crouching. Their designers were like, should we just put a shark on his head? Yeah, sure, why not? Make his head the shark. Brilliant. Put it in.
kind of should be finishing. I'm continuing this tomorrow. Good. Yeah, let's turn on one faucet. And... Then let's run back, upgrade our health, and call it today. Hey Fred, the stream has been going okay, started the second dungeon not too long ago, and um, I was about to call it in a bit. Link, do you see that? I am certain that this water wheel must be connected to a temple's faucets. Yes, I know. Come here. Let's go, fuckhead. I'm pretty sure you can beat Ganon. As soon as you get the paraglider. Yes, you got one flowing. I'm assuming Ganon is in the depths somewhere. Or like the basement of the castle. Great, just free to go. I didn't want to start Gerudo when you weren't around. I thought that was the whole point. Oh no, frame rate is really dipping. Is this me skipping stuff? Yes, it is. Okay. I 
did say I was gonna call it, but I should be calling it. We've been live for eight hours now. Also, Fred, you missed out on seeing a shrine, a goat sea, that was covered in this brown sludge and had to clean it with water. There is no way that was not intentional. The devs knew what they were doing. this top spinning. Holy shit, it's, it's her, it's her. Oh yeah, we got the monster's sword as well. It's her. I don't think that's the intended way either. Where did she go? Can I get to her? I want to get a scale. Where is that idiot? Hey, look face. Come here. Yeah, I pulled it out of the dragon. That's why I'm trying to get back to it. Shut up, I can count. Okay, I'm trying to get to... Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where did she go? heading in that direction which means I think she's going clockwise Whoops. yes I just jumped off 
Hmm. Yeah, yeah, never. Just let me go get. Hmm. Okay, I don't care if you can't leave this place. Hope you never leave it. She's gone, isn't she? Zelda, where are you? Yeah, as soon as I show up in a cutscene, she's gone. And we are losing frames. A lot of frames. And we disconnected, I think. Or not. Yeah, stream. Only froze, yeah. Damn shame that I... I barely left. stream is just dead. Let's try... Yeah, I'm gonna head out, I think. Let's call it a day here. I'll need to restart the router anyway. So... Let's call it. I was already calling it anyway. So, catch you all hopefully tomorrow. Connection has been mostly stable today, just the end. See you.